Hey guys, today's video is going to cover how to cook perfect kimchi fried rice. Before we go through the recipe, I'd like to talk about three aspects of cooking that you need to pay attention to do this the right way. The first one would be the ingredients. It is garbage in, garbage out, so you need to pay attention to what you're cooking with. For this recipe, you need fully fermented kimchi that has sharp tasting note with higher acidity. Also, the rice needs to be less starchy, cooked with about 10% less water than you normally cook any short grain rice. The second aspect is controlling the heat. Each step has to be cooked in different amount of heat, so do not flame up from the beginning and cook everything on a high heat. Also, it is important that you understand your heat source and see if it's quickly controllable. For instance, if it's a gas stove, you can increase or decrease the heat amount much more quickly than old school electric coil cooktop. The last one I want to talk about is time. Every ingredient needs different time to cook. Therefore, time decides in which order you add ingredients to the pan. This means there's a right time for each ingredient to meet the heat source so do not dump everything at once and expect the best outcome. Let's talk about the preparation. Starting from the top, you need kimchi, cold short grain rice, bacon, crispy shallot or onion, mozzarella cheese, scallion rounds, soy sauce, small diced onions, garlic slices, sesame oil, black sesame, and butter. And last but not least, eggs. You can use fried egg, poached egg, or boiled egg, but I personally prefer sous vide egg. So I cook my eggs in sous vide at 165 degrees Fahrenheit for about 15 minutes. On medium low heat, render out bacon fat. Just be patient to get the full flavor out of the bacon and once they start turning brown, add onions and sweat them for a minimum of 3 minutes. Then add scallion and garlic to cook for another 2 minutes. Add a touch more oil to control the heat. Then you add kimchi and switch to a high heat to get rid of the surface moisture and intensify the flavor. Once the kimchi gets dried up, add more kimchi brine to loosen it up and reduce it again, you will see this dark red color. Then you add your rice to the pan and break the starch binding between the grains by gently pressing the rice on the hot pan. This process will help you to get the flavor consistency in every spoon. Then you mix kimchi and rice together and it is time to add layers of flavor to it. Add soy sauce and melt a tablespoon of butter and coat the rice again with sesame oil. Switch to low heat and spread the rice flat on the pan. This will crunch up the half of the rice grains for a great texture variation. Melt some mozzarella cheese for that umami bomb. Taste and adjust your seasoning with salt and pepper. Plate your fried rice on the bottom. And gently lay the sous vide egg on top. Garnish with a touch of black sesame. Sprinkle some crispy onions and finish with scallion rounds. So I hope this video could help anyone who likes Korean food. And in the comment section below, let me know how you like your kimchi fried rice to be cooked. And don't forget to subscribe and I'll be back with more joy of cooking.